Are Magic the Gathering players funny? Well, that's the question we're going to answer today because there's been a lot of talk in especially the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic communities about how Magic players, their memes, they're just not very good. And bottom of the barrel memes from r slash Master Duel are absolutely obliterating the best memes that Magic players have to offer. So today we're going to get to the bottom of if Magic the Gathering players are funny. We're going to go to r slash Magic the Circle Jerky, the premier subreddit for Magic the Gathering related memes. We're going to look at the top memes of this week on the subreddit to see if Magic the Gathering players can be funny. All right, first up, I spent too much time on this. It's a Pizza Hut, I'm at the Taco Bell. I'm at the combination pizza and Taco Bell. Like, yeah, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell. Whenever you unlock this room, create three food tokens. Whenever you sacrifice food, create a junk token, a scrap token, it's a room. Like, I get it. It's not making me laugh, but I, I, I get it. All right, you know. Let's see what else we can find. Next up, in Duskmorn, your greatest fears come to life. Fear of failed play tests, one green blue. Jam a creature nightmare elk. When fear of failed play tests deals combat damage to a player, you may reveal a blue and green card with mana value three you own from outside the game and put it onto the battlefield. Ultimately, my intention was to create a build around aiming the commander play, which resulted in the final text. Simic bad, Simic value engine too hard, bottom text. Simic value engine's been a little, you know, beaten to death at this point, but it's not bad. I, I like the Oko on it and Uro and Nadu. It's cool, it's cool. Let's see what we got here. This thing fucking sucks. Coolest thing ever. Duskmorn apology form, to from Dane. Reason for behavior. The media convinced me it was just gonna be Stranger Things. I miss Bloomborough. I was jealous of Tyvar's ass. I wasn't familiar with their game. I don't know how planes work. Mercury was in retrograde. I will hereby respect Duskmorn and I will not talk down on the future first ballot Hall of Famer. Yep, some people don't like Duskmorn because horror and, and tech, tech in Magic the Gathering. TVs in Magic the Gathering. All right, next up, they're finally listening to the community. We didn't play test this upcoming set as we were too far along the process and it'll ship as is. Ultimately, our intention was to build and create a round aimed at circle jerk play. Grand Wizard of Wizards of the Coast. Uh, okay, the, the signature got me. The signature was better than the, the rest of it. Like, yeah, it was really, you know, they, they said Nadu was a design mistake, which was really funny. And then it got old after about two days. And, uh, you know, we're still slamming this as hard as we can. Like, we get it. The best memes for it we found so far just uh, have the quotation about how it was a commander build around, which was funny. I feel like we can do better than just copy and pasting text. Got a template. All right, let's see what we got here. Magic has layers. So Dark Steel Mutation removes all abilities? Yup. And Magus of the Moon's effect is an ability? Yup. So putting Dark Steel on Magus removes his ability? Makes sense to me. So now I can activate my Cabal Coffers again? No, because it's still a mountain. It's just explaining it's layers hard. You're a grown ass adult, read the fucking layers. This has been beaten to death. This has gone on for years. It's like, oh, hoo hoo, did you know that Dark Seal Mutation doesn't remove Magus's uh, ability to turn lands into mountains? We know, it's not a meme. You're just explaining the rules of the game. All right, next up, next up. Ramp in blue evil you can't ramp in blue moral and good keep using mitotic manipulation to get islands what the hang on yeah three minute ramp in blue if you just have an island all right you know what that was that was funny i didn't know this card existed all right that one was actually kind of funny <laughs> can't wait for sasuke samurai number two i guess we do in Yu-Gi-Oh now yep meat hook massacre too it was funny when we saw it in the Rosewater spoiler. I really like the conveyor belt memes. I really liked the format until it just evolved into this is thing in my fandom. I feel like I've seen funnier versions of this meme that were like, if Meat Hook Massacre is so good, why isn't there a Meat Hook Massacre 2? <gasps> Next up. New way to transition just dropped. Fox News. Sudden transformation. Blue, red, F. Instant, split second. 
Council's Dilemma. Starting with you, each player votes for a candidate that is a man or a woman. Each player is now the gender of the candidate they voted for. Sorry, NPs. I heard the scientists say the other day that when a man votes for a woman, he actually transitions into a woman. Jesse Waters, Fox News. Yeah, it's, it's decent. Yeah, that, that one's all right. That one's all right. Next up, a blind date with Kevin. Now that you've successfully had a blind date with Kevin, it's time to reveal what he looks like. Oh damn, he got the whole destroyer fit on. My favorite EDH deck is five color slivers. Oh damn, he's gonna replace my spine with his uh, phallus. Blue bad. Blue bad's been, uh, blue bad, blue bad, counter bad. Yep. All right, next up. I would like to thank Meat Hook Massacre 2 for opening the door to exciting new card design possibilities. Sarah Angel 2, 4-4, four, four, 3 black and a green. Angel, flying, vigilance. Flying its primary in white and blue and secondary in black. Vigilance is primary in white and secondary in green. As both abilities can be done in mono white, we don't want to use white in this card. That means white blue, white black, and green white are out. Blue black can't use vigilance, meaning E black green is the only possible answer. Yeah, that, right, that one's kind of funny. I do like that. I thought Dustmorn was supposed to be scary. As you're crossing the room, a vast tentacle whips out of the water and wraps around your waist, jerking you off. <laughs> I'm a child. Uh, next up. Wizards of the Coast designing limited archetypes is very daring. I'll have a red-white aggro with a green-black graveyard. How original. And a red-blue spell slinger. Daring today, aren't we? Doug, dear, dear limited players, your format was so underbought that they had to get rid of your boosters. And I miss set boosters, so like I am a I am a D1 hater against limited players because we lost set boosters for you. I don't like opening play boosters. Oh, a lot of text. Wait, that's a, that's an ad. Never mind. The borderless Bloomboro art is gorgeous. Ma 3000, make America hard again. I'm a child, all right? Like, next up, next up. How is Norn alive still? Time spiral was 64 years ago. Like, I feel like some of the laughs are me still thinking about Maha 3000, but uh, yeah, that is funny. Next up, black red sacrifice, black red sacrifice, black red sacrifice. We're complaining about Duskmore Unlimited, but like, Bloomboro wasn't that. It was Black Red Lizard, Black Red Lizard, Black Red Lizard. It's all very daring. Whoa, Blue White is gonna be the tempo archetype. Blue Black is gonna be control. Red White's gonna be aggro. They've kind of done this thing for multiple limited environments at this point, but like, what do you expect out of those color combinations? Green Black's Delirium mid range. It's like, yeah, that's what those colors do. I don't know. Let's, D1 hater against limited players. These Duskmore nightmares are out of control. Fear of, of growing up, one in a blue, one four, enchantment creature nightmare, cumulative upkeep 25 cents. When fear of growing up deals combat damage to a player, they lose 25% of their life rounded up. This is insane. Wizards, what? Minor spelling mistake, so uh, zero out of 10. Moving on. Chat, am I a Omega mirror? All the sign apply to me. Omega. Alpha, 15 signs, you're an Omega Mirror, super rare. Is it better than Alpha Mirror? It's decent, it's decent. It's not gonna get a laugh out of me, but I like it, I like it. All right, next up, next up. Broken Combob Discovered. Valvagoth Terror Eater, Chromatic Lantern. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's just, like a moth to a flame. Oh, we're getting the Sharpie memes. These were really funny. Um, I'm a little burnt out on them. This was funny about a week ago. It's from three days ago. Hope nobody has done this one yet. Owl, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, who? Owl's who, <laughs> the who. I mean, it still gets it. Custom magic is out of control. Watsy would never print this. New mechanic, look weird. New mechanic, complex. New mechanic, don't look like magic card. New mechanic, plays with additional things. New mechanic, bad. Next up, yippee, I can finally prove mathematical theories instead of playing magic. Oh my God, mechanic complex. <laughs> it's not funny. Like even if you're being sarcastic, it's just he who, this card cares about prime numbers. Maybe the Yu-Gi-Oh players are right. So now that we've come to the end of our list for the week, we need to answer the question. Are Magic the Gathering players funny? Uh, uh, like, I laughed a couple times. 
Uh, but you know, maybe this was a bad week. Maybe this was a bad week for Match of the Circle Jerking. If you want to see me look at future weeks of r slash Match of the Circle Jerking to continue to figure out the answer to the question, are Magic players funny and can we make better memes than the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in today and I hope you all have a good rest of your day.